the gadget got here and today I'm going to show you how you can reset any Mac especially a laptop back to its factory settings without even using an install disk install disks are come with brand new Macs so say you want to sell your Mac on eBay or something like that I'm going to show you how you can erase all the settings on your Mac set it back to factory settings so whoever you give it to can start brand new as if they just bought the Mac brand new so the first thing you're going to want to do when you push the power button, right away you're going to want to hold Command R. So I just push the power button. Now I'm holding Control R. We'll do this for a second. Now I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit so you can see exactly what to do. Just keep holding Control R until a window pops up. All right. So once you've held Control R the whole time until this window pops up. I'll show you the next things that you'll do. Let me just refocus the camera a little bit here. All right, so we're still on our way to restoring the factory settings. First, we will click on Disk Utility, and then we'll click Continue. The next thing you will do is highlight Macintosh HD. We will want to click on this Erase tab right at the top in the middle. Now this is the one important step. You want to make sure that format is selected to Mac OS Extended Journaled. Then we'll click Erase again. Are you sure you want to erase the partition Macintosh HD? Yes, that's why we clicked Erase in the first place. You can see down here it's doing a little erasing stuff. That doesn't take very long. So now that we've done that, we can just go ahead and close this window. The next thing we'll want to do is click reinstall OS X. We will click continue on this. So now based on whatever OS X version you had previously installed before you did this, it's going to say is that um, what you're ready to go back into? Yes, absolutely. Yosemite, the newest, the freshest. Click continue here. It's going to say we just need to verify that you know you didn't download this software illegally or something. Obviously we didn't. Yes, we agree. I said we agree. Now select the disk where you want to install. Obviously it's this one. This is the only hard drive we have. This is the internal solid state hard drive. So here's where you'll want to go ahead and put in an Apple ID. This is just to verify that it can download from the App Store. It's not actually going to save this Apple ID onto the computer for when you start it fresh. So I'm just going to put it in. So we just wait a second for it to load Then this pops up. Yes, we'll go ahead and continue. And this part will take about an hour, um, maybe longer, depending on how large your hard drive is. What we can see here, it's about an hour. And then once it's done, it starts at the normal screen that you always see. Um, when you first buy a Mac and you turn it on, you'll have to choose your language, for example, English, and then it'll have you set it up on the Wi-Fi network and things like that. So that's how you can factory restore your MacBook. MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro with Retina Display, Mac Mini, uh, an iMac, any Mac. Use this process and you can restore it back to its original factory settings so you can give it to somebody or sell it. And here we are, just finished reformatting the hard drive after we click continue. And we can see right here it starts right up with what country you're in, then you pick your Wi-Fi, then you log in. So there you go. We just totally reformatted this MacBook to factory settings without using any install disks and it only took about an hour of waiting. Let the word of the nerd be heard. Gadget God, signing off.